Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the recursion concept in C++ and in today's session, we will go with the structures concept. Structure. So structure is a user defined data type. So data type means we can create the variables, we can declare the variables. So here also in structures we can declare the variables with the help of that structure name. And then it consists of heterogeneous elements. That means till now we have seen the variable so which can holds only one value based upon the data type and then we have seen the arrays concept which will holds multiple elements of same data type right now the third one is structure It will also holds multiple elements of different data types. So that's why array we call it as homogeneous and structure we call it as heterogeneous. So it will hold the elements of different data types. So here we will call as elements, here we will call as members, members. So these can be accessed through an index value, through an index value, right? So array elements can be accessed with the help of index values. So here, these members can be accessed with the help of structure variables. With dot operator. So these members can be accessed through the structure variables with dot operator. So this is the difference right so variable which holds the single value array which holds the multiple elements of same data type and structure holds the multiple elements of different data types see now let us see the syntax of a structure so first we have to create a structure and then we can declare the variables which will follow the structure so structure syntax so struct is a keyword used to declare a structure followed by tag name or a structure name, curly braces open, member 1, member 2 and so on and also here in a structure we can also define a function so in c language we can't define a function inside the structure but here in c plus plus we can define a function inside the structure that we call it as a member function and here we have to end the structure with semicolon and before giving the semicolon we have to write the structure variable declare the structure variable one two and so on semicolon so here uh, whatever the structure variables 
uh, you want to create those can be written here itself otherwise simply you can end the structure and inside the main function inside the main function and this structure should be defined outside the main just above the main okay so inside the main with the help of this tag name we can declare the structure variables we can avoid declaring the structure variables here and we can declare the structure variables with the help of tag name here yeah. so here you can declare struct tag name followed by variables right so if you want to declare the variables here itself it is not mandatory to write the tag name so without the tag name also we can declare the variables but inside the main function we can't create a more number of variables further so if you want to create or if you want to declare more number of structure variables inside the main function it is mandatory to give a name for the structure with the help of structure name we have to declare the variables and through that variables we have to access these members and member functions with the help of dot operator right so this is how a structure can be implemented now a small example and write a small example so that you will be understood. see i'm writing struct student character name of 20 sum is equal to let it let it be abc is equal to abc r number is equal to sum 1 2 3 close here and inside the main function see first create the variables struct student s1 so s1 if s1 is the structure variable this name can be accessed with s1 dot name similarly s1 dot r number and if you are creating one more variable s2 dot name and s2 dot r number similarly s3 s3 dot name s3 dot r number so whatever the variables we are declaring using this structure those variables will be having these members and they only those variables can access the members of this structure right so hope you understood this basic uh, introduction to structures so we'll go with an example right so we'll move on to the implementation part hello friends just now we have seen the structures concept we will implement a small program so first include the ivo string for input and output statements then include the conio for clear screen next we have to create one structure let it be structure struct student give the two members so character name of some 20 size and then int r number roll number close here and now void main and inside the main we can uh, declare the structure variables with the help of a structure name so student s1 s2 so here struct student s1 s2 so s1 will be having both a name and r number s2 will be having both r name and r number that means the structure variable should follow the structure which we have uh, defined above right now so clear the screen and now see in oh, sorry see out enter name of s1 
seen s1 dot name similarly c out enter r number of s1 c in s1 dot r number see we will create only one variable now we will print the same c out name of s1 s1 dot name so how can we access the members of a structure by using the variable name so if you want to access this name that can be accessed only with the help of the structure variable so dot operator with the help of dot operator we have to access the members of the structure so here s1 is a structure variable so this name can be accessed with the help of s1 so s1 dot name similarly s1 dot r number if you are creating one more structure variable s2 and those will be accessed with the help of s2 s2 dot name s2 dot r number see r number of s1 s1 dot r number right close let us save this one struct dot cpp first we will compile this and we'll run this right enter the name of s1 some sandeep enter the roll number of s1 523 so let us check the result see name of s1 is equal to sandeep r number of s1 is 523 so let us give the end line so that it will be printed in next line and i'll say compile run so sandeep 523 now check the result name of s1 sandeep name of r number of s1 is 523 so this is how we can implement the structure. So with the help of struct keyword, we have to give a structure name and followed by the members. Members are nothing but the attributes of that particular structure. So whatever the variables we are creating with the help of that structure, those variables will be accessing those uh, must follow the structure of a given uh, name, right? So it is not a mandatory to give a name for a student. I mean for structure so this is also correct but here itself we have to declare the variables see yes one right and you need not use this one so if you are declaring the variables in the structure itself we can we, we need not give the name for this structure and if you want to create a more number of variables inside the main function which follows that structure then we have to give the tag name struct followed by tag name so with the help of tag name itself we have to create a variables in main function see once again i am executing so name yes now let us check this name of s1 is and the r number of s1 is 523 so here i am not creating any variable inside the main function but i am creating variable in the structure itself right yes now see so this is all about our structure and here c++ will support the functions also inside the structure so we can write the functions also so here we can write void display so this function we call it as a member function so this is our name and r number are member variables display is the member function c out function inside structure right see 
so we can write the function inside the structure so but in c language this is not possible writing the function inside the structure is not possible only we can declare the name and i mean uh, the members inside the structure and uh, in order to access those members we have to create the structure variable and through the structure variable itself we have to access the variables using dot operator similarly in c++ there is a one more advantage we can write the function inside the structure we can define a function inside the structure and this function should be called with the help of the variable name here simply we can write s1 dot display see again if you write this sandeep 523 now if you check this one you can write that name of s1 sandeep r number of s1 is 523 and function inside the structure so i am not given see right see i am executing this one 523 and now you can observe name of s1 sandeep r number of s1 523 and function inside structure because i have written a function definition inside the structure and i have called this function with the help of this variable structure variable so whatever the structure variables we are using those structure variables can be followed this structure so all these member variables and member functions can be accessed only through structure variables using dot operator right hope you understood this session so, so main uh, use of structures in c++ so a slight difference in implementation over c language to the c++ so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much